Hey, this is Adam Huxima from Projection Hub, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through what you can expect in terms of annual revenue for a startup lawn care business. Uh, so, what I'm showing you here is our uh, landscaping and lawn care business financial projection template, and I'll link to this in the description of the video below. Um, and I'm uh, specifically on this video, we're going to talk about what your revenue projections could look like. Um, so we're assuming this is a startup, and uh, we did a little bit of research and found uh, three um, different sources to provide some annual revenue projections uh, for a uh, lawn care startup. And the minimum revenue uh, that we found could be as low as $50,000 a year. Uh, the maximum revenue for a lawn care startup could be $1.1 million per year. And then the average revenue for a sustainable uh, lawn care business was 297000 per year. And so rather than just uh, assuming, you know, there's such a big range here between 50000 and $1.1 million, obviously. So um, rather than just picking a number out of thin air uh, in your projections, what we want to do is really build up the assumptions to show how you get to that level of revenue. And this can be helpful if you're applying for a loan. A business lender is probably going to want to see projections and see the assumptions that, that help you get there. And so uh, what I'm showing you here is we start out by assuming that, uh, that you're going to have some sort of advertising budget. And that advertising spend here, um, for example, $500 per month, will help you acquire new customers. Um, and so we're saying here that you'd have 10 new uh, first-time clients per month uh, due to advertising. And then also um, here we have just organic or word-of-mouth customers um, as well. And that will give you your total number of first-time customers. And uh, down here we'll end up seeing what your regular customer base level is. And then from there, you have the ability to add in some seasonality to your to your sales. Um, surely in the lawn care business, um, you're going to have certain months that generate more or less of your of your total revenue. So that's what you'll be able to do here. And then ultimately, we can jump down here into our different services uh, and list out um, your different uh, different services, and then what percentage of your client base will utilize each service. So for example here we're saying that uh, mowing a small yard, that'll be 50% of your clients, and that on average their a customer is going to spend $400 per year um, for that service. Now um, you'll want to uh, you know change this accordingly um, to your specific location um, and your specific pricing plan and, and those sorts of things because um, you may end up spending a lot more than that if you have a long mowing season. Now, if you live somewhere uh, cold and you have a very short mowing season, maybe this is reasonable um, with a small yard. But uh, again, you're going to want to adjust this um, for your specific scenarios. And so you can put those different services and breakdowns in this table. And then ultimately, um, you're going to be able to project your total revenue as well as your cost of goods sold. And, We'll be able to see that all over here on this table based on the assumptions we have in there. Our projected revenue for the first year of operation is 197000 jumping up to 373000 by uh, by the second year. Um, so hopefully that was helpful in just kind of walking through how you actually need to think about your revenue projections and the assumptions that you'll need to make. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the uh, comment section of the video below or reach out to us at support at projectionhub.com. Thanks.